Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a shoulder bag. The materials required are four ply acrylic yarn, 75 grams, any two colors, crochet hook, four mm stitch marker, scissors, and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. After completing the slip knot, work a chain 37. Now we have completed working our chains. For the round one, we are going to work one half double crochet in third chain. After completing the half double crochet, place marker in top of the half double crochet. From the next chain, work one half double crochet in next 33 stitches. So count it and work one half double crochet in next 33 stitch. Now we have worked one half double crochet in 33 stitches. Into the last chain, we are going to work three half double crochet increase. So first half double crochet increase, second half double crochet increase, and the third one. After completing the three half double crochet increase, we are going to place marker in first half double crochet increase. After placing the marker, Skip the current working loop and turn the project. Into the next loop, we are going to work one half double crochet. So, work one half double crochet into the very first loop and count it one, two, three. Like this, work one half double crochet until you reach the 33rd loop. So work one half double crochet until you reach the 33rd loop. Now we have completed one half double crochet in 33 loops. There will be one loop. Into that loop you are going to work two half double crochet increase. So first half double crochet increase and the second half double crochet increase. Now place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase. Now remove the next marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round one, we will have 72 half double crochet. For the round one, begin with chain one and into the same chain space, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. So first half double crochet increase and the second one. Place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase. After placing the marker, like the previous round, work one half double crochet in next 33 chains. So count it 1, 2, 3. Like this, count it and work until you reach 33 stitches. So work one half double crochet in 33 stitches. Now we have worked one half double crochet in 33 stitches. Remove the marker and we are going to increase in next three stitches. So we are going to work two half double crochet increase. So into the very first chain, work two half double crochet increase, the first half double crochet increase, and into the same chain space, work the second half double crochet increase, and place marker into the first half double crochet increase. Into the next chain, work two half double crochet increase. So first one and the second one and into the third stitch we are going to work two half double crochet increase first one and the second half double crochet so after increasing we will have six half double crochet like the previous round from the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 stitches so count it one, two, and three. Like this, work one half double crochet until you reach the 33rd stitches. Now 
now we have worked one half double crochet in 33 stitches and now we have reached the marker remove the marker and we are going to work two half double crochet increase in next two stitches so uh, one half double crochet and the second half double crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase into the second stitch we are going to work two half double crochet increase the first half double crochet increase and the second one now we will have four half double crochet remove the next marker and work a slip stitch in the end of the round two we will have 78 half double crochet for the round three begin with the chain one and into the same chain space we are going to work one half double crochet after completing the half double crochet place marker into the next chain space we are going to work increase so work two half double crochet increase the first half double crochet increase and into the same chain space work the second half double crochet increase and from the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 chains so first half double crochet second one third one like this continue working until you reach the 33rd stitch now we have worked one half double crochet in 33 stitches we have reached the marker remove the marker and we are going to work one half double crochet two half double crochet increase pattern so into the very first chain work one half double crochet and place marker in top of the half double crochet into the second stitch we are going to work two half double crochet increase so first half double crochet and into the same chain space work the second half double crochet again we are going to work one half double crochet two half double crochet for the second time so one half double crochet and into the next chain we are going to work increase so work two half double crochet into the same chain space again we are going to work a repeat so one half double crochet and into the next chain we are going to work an increase so work two half double crochet increase after completing the increase we will have nine half double crochet again we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 stitches so count it and work one half double crochet in next 33 stitch now we have completed working our one half double crochet now we have reached the marker remove the marker and again we are going to work one half double crochet and we are going to place the marker in top of the half double crochet into the next chain we are going to work an increase so work two half double crochet increase the first one and the second one into the same chain space and into the next chain work one half double crochet and again into the next chain work two half double crochet increase so after increasing we will have six half double crochet Remove the next marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round 3, we will have 84 half double crochet. For the round 4, begin with the chain 1 and into the same chain space work 1 half double crochet and place marker in top of the half double crochet. Again into the next chain work one half double crochet and into the next chain we are going to work increase so work two half double crochet increase so the first half double crochet and the second half double crochet into the same chain space. In this round we will increase in the third stitch so one one two pattern. So from the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 stitches so count it and work. One half double crochet until you reach the 33rd stitch. Now we have completed working our one half double crochet. Remove the marker and we are going to work one half double crochet, one half double crochet, and two half double crochet increase pattern. 
so into the very first chain work one half double crochet and into the second chain work one half double crochet and into the third stitch we are going to increase so work two half double crochet increase into the third stitch after increasing again we are going to work one half double crochet increase into the next two stitches and into the third stitch work increase so one half double crochet again one half double crochet into the third stitch we are going to work two half double crochet increase so very first half double crochet and into the same chain space we are going to work the second half double crochet increase again we are going to repeat one on two pattern so into the next chain or one half double crochet and into the next chain or one half double crochet and into the next chain or two half double crochet increase after increasing we will have 12 half double crochet increase from the next chain again we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 stitches so count it and work one half double crochet in next 33 stitches after completing one half double crochet in 33 stitch Remove the marker and we are going to work an increase pattern one half double crochet again one half double crochet and into the third stitch we are going to work increase so two half double crochet increase so first half double crochet increase and into the same chain space second half double crochet increase so again we are going to repeat the pattern one half double crochet again into the next chain one half double crochet again into the next chain two half double crochet increase after completing the increase we will have eight half double crochet remove the next marker and work the slip stitch in the end of the round four we will have 90 half double crochet for the round 5 begin with the chain 2 and work one half double crochet in back loop of same chain space so work one half double crochet into the back loop and place marker in top of the half double crochet in this round we are going to work one half double crochet all along the stitches into the back loop so continue to work one half double crochet in back loops now we have completed working our one half double crochet in back loop Remove the marker and we are going to work a slip stitch. For round 6 begin with the chain 2 and work one half double crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the half double crochet. After placing the marker we are going to work one half double crochet into the next chain. And into the next chain work one half double crochet so work one half double crochet all along the stitches now we have a one half double crochet all along the stitches remove the marker and work a slip stitch if you are going to continue with the same color yarn just continue working and I am going to work into the next color yarn. So I am going to work chain 1 and going to cut the extra yarn out. Using the new color yarn make a slip knot and insert into the chain. For the round 7 begin by working a chain 3 and 1 double crochet into the same chain space. Place marker in chain 3. 
So now arc one double crochet. Now skip four stitches. So count it. One, two, three and four. Into the fifth stitch we are going to work two double crochet chain to two double crochet. So first double crochet. The second one. So we have completed two double crochet. Work chain two. One, two. Again we are going to work two double crochet into the same chain space. The first one and the second one. So again skip the next two four stitches. One, two, three and four into the fifth chain. Work two double crochet. Chain two and two double crochet. The first double crochet, the second one. So we have completed the two double crochet, work chain two, and into the same chain space again work two double crochet. After completing two double crochet, chain to two double crochet, we are going to skip the four chains, and into the fifth chain we are going to work two double crochet, chain to two double crochet. Like this, repeat the same pattern throughout the round seven. I will be meeting you in the end of the round seven. Now we are in the end of the round 7. Into the starting chain, we are going to work 2 double crochet chain 2. Skip the 4 chains into the very first chain of 2 double crochet. The first one. And into the same chain space, the second double crochet. And now work a chain 2. And remove the marker and work a slip stitch. So now we have completed our round 7. For the next round, we are going to begin with a chain 2 and we are going to work 1 unfinished double crochet into the next 3 chain. So yarn over, insert into the first chain and come out of 2 loops. Again yarn over, insert into the next chain, come out of 2 loops. Again yarn over, insert into the next chain and come out of 2 loops. Now come out of all four loops. So this will be our first cluster. In top of the cluster place the marker. After placing the marker of chain 4 and skip the chain 2 below. Into the next four chains of one unfinished double crochet. So in top of the double crochet Work 1 unfinished double crochet into the next chain work 1 unfinished double crochet and again into the next chain work 1 unfinished double crochet and again into the next chain work 1 unfinished double crochet. Now come out of all 5 loops. After working the cluster again work chain 4 and skip the chain 2 below. And into the next four chains of one unfinished double crochet. So yarn over, insert into the next chain, come out of two loops. Again yarn over, insert into the next chain, come out of two loops. Again yarn over, insert into the next chain, come out of two loops. Again yarn over, insert into the next chain, come out of two loops. Now come out of all five loops. After completing the cluster of a chain 4. Like this repeat the same pattern throughout the round 8. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 8.
now we are in the end of the round it remove the marker and work slip stitch in top of the cluster after slip stitching for the next round work a chain one and we are going to work two double crochet in chain two space of round seven so watch carefully into the round seven we are going to work two double crochet into the chain two space so work two double crochet the first double crochet place marker and the second double crochet Now we are going to work two double crochet chain to two double crochet in chain two space of round seven. So in round seven we worked two double crochet chain to two double crochet into that chain two space we are going to work two double crochet chain to two double crochet. So this will be our first double crochet, the second one. After completing the two double crochet, work chain two, and again work two double crochet. Again, skip the next cluster and into the next chain two space. We are going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Now we have completed working our two double crochet chain to two double crochet again skip the next cluster and into the next chain two space work two double crochet chain to two double crochet in this round we will be working in the round seven continue the same pattern throughout the round nine i will be meeting you in the end of the round nine Now we are in the end of our round 9. We are going to work 2 double crochet chain 2 into the very first chain 2 space of round 7. So in, in the beginning chain 2 space we are going to work 2 double crochet chain 2. So first double crochet, the second double crochet. Now work a chain 2, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the round 10 begin with the chain 2 and we are going to work one unfinished double crochet in next three chains so round 10 will be similar to the round 8 pattern so into the next two stitches work one unfinished double crochet now come out of all loops place marker in top of the cluster now work a chain 4 and skip chain 2 below and into the next 4 chains work 1 unfinished double crochet. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now come out of all loops. Again work a chain 4 and skip the chain 2 below and work 1 unfinished double crochet in next 4 stitches. So repeat the pattern throughout the round 10. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 10.
Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the round 11, begin with chain 1. And in this round, we are going to work in chain 2 space of round 9. So work 2 double crochet in chain 2 space of round 9. So first double crochet, place marker in top of the first double crochet. Again into the same chain space of one more double crochet. Now skip the next cluster and into the next V stitch space that is the chain 2 space. We are going to work 2 double crochet chain to 2 double crochet. So into the chain 2 space of the round 9 we are working 2 double crochet chain to 2 double crochet. This round is the repetition of the round 8. Now again skip the next cluster and work in the chain 2 space of round 9, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet. So repeat the same pattern throughout the round 11. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 11. This pattern is the repetition of two rounds, round 9 and round 10. So you repeat the pattern until you reach the round 22. Now we are in the end of a round 22. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. If you are continuing with the same color yarn, just continue. I am going to insert the new color yarn. So work a chain one and I am going to cut the current working yarn. Take the other color yarn by making a slip knot and insert in top of the double crochet that is the two double crochet chain to two double crochet into the very first double crochet and up a chain two and place marker in top of the chain two. Into the next chain work one half double crochet and into the chain two space work one half double crochet. And work one half double crochet into the next chain in top of the double crochet. Again work one half double crochet into the next chain that is in top of the next double crochet. So again we are going to repeat the pattern in top of the double crochet work one half double crochet. Again in, in the second double crochet top work one half double crochet into the chain two space work one half double crochet. Into the next two chains work one half double crochet. So in this round we are going to work one half double crochet. So repeat the same pattern. Continue to work one half double crochet over double crochet stitches and into the chain two space work one half double crochet. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next 3 more rounds we are going to work the same pattern. So begin with the chain 2 and work one half double crochet all along the stitches and place marker in top of the chain 2. So I will be meeting you in the end of the round 26. Continue working one half double crochet all along the stitches. Now remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Work a chain on and cut the extra yarn. 
Now we are going to work for the handle so place marker in middle chain of both the corner and make a slip knot and from the marker count 10 chains and insert the yarn work chain 1 and 1 half double crochet into the same chain space so chain 1 and 1 half double crochet into the same chain space Work 1 half double crochet into the next chain. Again work 1 half double crochet. Like this continue to work 1 half double crochet until you reach the marker. Now we have reached the marker. Remove the marker and work 1 half double crochet. Again from the next chain work 1 half double crochet in next 10 stitches. So count it and work 1 half double crochet in 10 stitches. In the end of this round we will have 21 half double crochet. Now we have completed. For the next round work a chain 1 and turn the work. We are going to skip the very first chain. And into the second chain work 1 half double crochet. And place marker in top of the half double crochet. After placing the marker, continue to work one half double crochet in next 19 stitches. So for the handle, we are going to skip the very first chain and the last chain. Now we have reached the last chain. We are going to skip that chain. So remove the marker and work a chain 1 and turn the work and now we are going to skip the very first chain and into the next chain work 1 half double crochet and place the marker and work 1 half double crochet except the last chain so we have placed marker in the last chain so work 1 half double crochet until you reach the marker so now we have reached the marker remove the marker and we are going to skip that chain and work a chain 1 and turn the project. Here we are going to skip the very first chain and work 1 half double crochet from the second chain and place marker. And continue to work 1 half double crochet until you reach the marker. We have placed marker in the last chain. So work 1 half double crochet until you reach the marker. Continue the same pattern and reduce up to 7 half double crochet. Now we have reduced up to 7 half double crochet. For the next round begin with the chain 1. Work 1 half double crochet in same chain space. And continue working 1 half double crochet in next 6 chains. So count it and work 1 half double crochet in next 6 chains. Now remove the marker and work one half double crochet. Again work a chain one and turn the project into the same chain space work one half double crochet and again into the next six chains continue to work one half double crochet. Repeat the same pattern for the record length of the card. So now we have completed working the same pattern for both the side. Now we can work a slip stitch. So placing the wrong side, pull the loop through the chain and make a chain 1 and slip stitch next to 6 stitches.
After completing the slip stitch, work a chain one and cut the extra yarn out. For both the side, we are going to work one single crochet all along the loops. So make a slip knot and insert into the chain. And work a chain one and work one single crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the single crochet. And continue to work one single crochet all along the loops. So continue making one single crochet all along the loops. I will be meeting you in the end of the round. Now we have completed making our single crochet all along the stitches. So remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the single crochet and work a chain one and cut the extra yarn out. Continue the same pattern for the opposite side. So friends, now we have completed working our single crochet both sides and also I have weaven all the extra yarns. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for the notification. Thanks for watching.